back to the show. Glue Rubai back here. Kuthu vela inne. Maapil last vela inna wa langadi ena musical leka kena. Ogunant kianna. This is going to be presented to you by the British School of Colombo, and it's going to be titled Anything Goes. Wait, I have the poster. Wait. It's okay, so it's right here. It's so heavy. You need some help? <laughs> Anything goes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, presented by the British School of Colombo, happening on the 21st, 22nd, no, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of March. There you go. I was it's just like one a day off. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Anything goes. Um, members will keep the name Kalapite So we'll tell you more about Anything Goes. To talk about this musical, we have with us the head of drama of British School in Colombo, Mr. Shane Mikkeljohn. I won. I won too, Mr. Shane. Good to have you on the show. Great <laughs> and we to be also here. thank you so much for coming. We also have Isha Muhammad Aibowan. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Good to Isha. have the both of you on the show. So uh, we're here to talk about Anything Goes. Anything Goes is a musical. Yes, it's a musical. It was uh, written in 1934, and um, basically most of the music was written by Cole Porter, who was a very famous a musician and, and a lyricist in those days, yes. Uh, and many of the songs probably uh, you've heard, yeah. you know, um, in movies or in um, Plays, concerts. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, now talking about the British school Colombo, I believe that there's something going on, uh, which means it could be a play, it could be a musical, you know, in different genres itself. Well, certainly. Uh, last year we did Pygmalion, which uh, is the play that uh, My Fair Lady was based on. Yes. So same characters, but just no music. But we incorporated some music from the Edwardian era. So some. So some you incorporated some music into the, uh, the plays. We try well. to, yes. Yeah. But every second year, every alternate year, we love to do a, a Broadway musical. Uh, quite a big show with a lot of pizzazz, so yeah. Those are always fun. Yeah, <laughs> very sure. much. Um, so yeah. when it comes to these plays, um, is it, so it's done by the drama uh, club of the school? Uh, yes, it, the drama department, department and it's kind of an after school activity where uh, all the students get involved in it after school. Okay. So whether they're acting or whether they're in the stage crew right. or um, dancing. So whatever works for the show and whoever is able to participate, you're all invited. Is that how uh, it basically works? Or basically what we try to do at the beginning is for the lead roles, mm -hmm. um, like Aisha's role, yeah. um, we have a, a audition process. Okay. Um, I, I, I suppose a bit like you've got talent or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have to prove that you can dance and sing Same. and act. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mostly for the chorus roles. Uh, those those students are involved in the singing program anyway in the yeah. school, so and then a lot of other other children get involved in the in, in the backstage side of things because they like the technical aspects of lighting and sound and things right. like that. So that's very interesting. Now uh, you touched on several things that I want to focus on, but before that, Isha, mm -hmm. um, what did you do for your audition? I, that's one of my. Uh, um, so to, to audition, you have to like analyze the character. Okay. And then you so have you to knew exactly what character you were auditioning for as well. You went straight for that particular character. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And um, we have to make our own monologue based on the character, and then we have to audition it um, to Sir. And then there's a musical director, mm -hmm. and then um, we have to sing for her. Okay. So that's wow, that's. That's a lot. That's a lot before the audition. I mean, doing the audition itself is a little bit stressed out, uh, would you say? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, was that your first audition or have you done plays before? Have this you is auditioned actually before? my first ever production. Your really? first ever production? Yeah. And wow. you are now in grade? 10. Grade 10. Yes. Okay, all right. So, was maybe doing a little bit of theatre, music and drama something you've always been interested in doing? Well, I've done music before. Um, okay. I started doing drama when I first moved here. That was the first time that you sort of stepped into it. Yeah. Okay. And um, about the musical itself, anything goes. You said it was more, uh, first created in the 1930s. Yes. Yeah. It's it's a lively musical. It's 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 basically a romance. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the character Billy Crocker uh, stows away on the board the ship to be with a girl he's infatuated and love in love with, who's Who very rich. By no, she actually, no. she plays uh, the nightclub singer okay. on the ship, who was actually a friend of Billy's, yeah. 
love but is actually in love with him, but oh. it kind of becomes a triangle. Oh, oh. Yeah, is it a love triangle? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> but it all works out in the end. <laughs> You'll have to come and see to find out how it works out. Mm. Uh, but when it comes to the, the language of, of, the, of the dialogue, is it somewhat different or is it more modernized? Well, uh, uh, as I said before, they, they revived it uh, quite a few times. Right. And this is actually uh, the 1980s, 90s revival of it. Okay. So they re rewrote the script and kind of jazzed it up a little bit for modern order audiences, yeah. So, oh, wow. yeah. so we've got Isha right here. So uh, you say that you are Reno Sweeney. Yes. Got it right? Yes. yes. <laughs> what do you like about this character? What type? You know, she's a nightclub singer, mm. just like uh, Miss uh, Sean Men uh, Mr. Shane mentioned. What do you like about this character? Well, it's really fun playing it because she's really outgoing. She's really sassy. So it's mm -hmm. always like a delight to be Reno Sweeney. What Just would like you, you say is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is maybe your favorite line that she says from the entire play, without spoiling anything? Um, of course, um, is there a line that she says that you really love? There is one line that I like. Okay. Um, um, this goes showtime tits. I like that line. Oh wow! So she's very sassy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, there you go. Anything goes is the name of the musical, and it will be at the uh, British uh, School Auditorium from the 22nd to the 24th of this month. You guys can go check it out. It's uh, being performed by the students of the British School of Colombo. Uh, and talent sounds very right interesting. there. Yeah, talent right there. So, Mr. Shane, uh, there there might be a couple of attributes that you would look into when the audition is going on for any character itself. Sure. So, what are the attributes that you look into? Uh, I think whether the student has a connection with the character mm -hmm. and can portray that character, not just vocally but physically, you know, hold themselves yeah. in the space right. and um, she did a wonderful job at doing that yeah. in the audition, so that was really, really good. Um, but, you know, even during the rehearsal process, mm -hmm. you can see a spark in them but then they develop and blossom during the rehearsal process. So she's done that as well, and she's even better than she was in the audition now. So please come and see. Oh, yeah. there you go. Very interesting, fingers crossed. But right about now, we're ready for a performance. You ready, Isha? <laughs> yes. Yeah, ready to, we're ready to hear so you. This is going to be a solo performance by the character Reno. Sweeney, Sweeney. Yes. there Sweeney. you go, Sweeney. Reno Sweeney, and so this is sort of like one of maybe is it one of the first musical numbers she does, or is this later on in the? It's the first. One. It's the first yes. one. Okay, cool. I'm excited, you guys. Um, so we're gonna watch. You need um, a glass of water? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm ready. Uh, Aisha Muhammad performing uh, one of the the first musical number that her character Reno Sweeney will be performing in Anything Goes. We're ready for you. You may take stage. <laughs> My story is much too sad to be told But practically everything needs to be totally cold The only exception I know is the case When I'm out on a quiet spree Fighting vainly the old ennui And I suddenly turn and see Your fabulous face no kick from champagne Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all So tell me why should it be true Did I get a kick out of you? Some get a kick from champagne That would bore me terrifically too Did I get a kick out of you? I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me I get a kick though it's Kick in a plane Trying to hide with some guy in the sky Is my idea nothing to do Yet I get a kick out of you
gentlemen. Thank Isha you, moment for you. Isha. That, was, that was amazing. That Thank gave you. me a kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's amazing. I'm very excited for this. Uh, Anything Goes is the name of the, the musical. And will be performed by not just Isha, by uh, many students of the British School of Colombo. Um, how was how was learning about this character? How was um, you know learning the lines and the music and being sort of exposed to this type of music? Oh, um, at first it was tough, but yeah. then like uh, Mr. Shane helped me a lot to you know yeah. to like through rehearsals. Like I learned a lot about like in the olden days, the 1930s. You know. Yeah. So like I feel like it has developed me more as an actor. So like that's really nice. Up you at our characters, keep back in no Akela. So uh, we've got them right here. Let's introduce them. They're yeah? here. Hi, Gavin Karnanayaka. Hi, Boan. Welcome Ibuan. to the show. Ibuan. We also have Migara Gunamansha. Hi, Boan. Migara Ibuan. is here to help out musically today for our show. So thank you very much, Migara. Uh, with that being said, so Gavin, you are playing the character of Billy Crocker. Yes, okay. The love bird. So, <laughs> yes. You, yes. Oh, young man, are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I, I would say so, yes. Because <laughs> uh, you have, you can say it's maybe two love interests or, okay, one love interest for you and then maybe someone else who's also interested in you. It's a mess, right? You want to get the I, story. I, I guess, I guess uh, not spoiling anything, in yeah. Billy's mindset, he only has one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So gotcha. Billy's concentrating only on one. Billy's focused. He's focused. He's focused <laughs> only in one. So, Billy or Mr. Gavin Karanayaka, uh, tell me, uh, how did you get get into this whole, I don't know, this whole musical? So, uh, you need to uh, get the uh, dynamic, not the dynamics for the guitarist itself. So, uh, how did you start off with the audition itself? I mean, how did you get into this whole musical? Okay, so first of all, the news was out that they will be doing Anything Goes, mm -hmm. and that is a Cole Porter song, a yeah. Cole Porter produ production. Yeah. And Cole Porter is a big individual when you talk in jazz standards. Yeah. And my music teacher, Ms. Shamisa De Silva, is a big fan of this, and she pushed me to also pursue the role of Billy. Mm -hmm. And then our director, Mr. Shane, also uh, pushed me to do the role. Yeah. And then I went for the audition and gave it my best, and here we are. Here we are. We are just days away from the <coughs> performance. Um, so you, so that this means you've obviously been doing music in school yeah, for a while. I'm the head of music. Head of You're music. You're the head of music. Hey, oh, yeah, good job. We just guessed it. <laughs> we just so, guessed it. Um, so clearly, is jazz music something you're interested in? You seem to be very fond of. Uh, um, yeah, Stevie jazz. Miss Shamista has like always influenced our whole choir with jazz right. and big numbers. We do pursue other sorts of music as well, right. but jazz is like a particular interest in the choir and that is like a strong suit for all of us. So, yes. so uh, this has been Isha's first performance production. How, How which, which number are uh, you on here? I'm really not sure. Maybe 15, 20, somewhere there, yeah. like 5, 10. So in my old school, uh, I worked with Jerome De Silva, Jerome okay. De Silva. Uh, I've worked on a number of Shakespeare plays with him and uh, in grade six, we have this play called Jeremy and the Thinking Machine. It's mm -hmm. the batch production, and I ended up playing Jeremy. Mm -hmm. okay. So I have been doing drama since I was small. I love drama. So hopefully this will also be just a curb to my enthusiasm, and we will be pushing forward from now on. All righty. So uh, we need to talk a little bit about uh, Migara <laughs> as well. Migara, so you, you seem to love the guitar, and you seem to love music as well. So let's talk <laughs> about that interest itself. When did you start playing the guitar? Um, I got into playing guitar when I was about nine. Okay. Yeah, I got my first guitar as a birthday Two present. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I took that young, right? I mean... <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So I, I started when I was nine. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any teachers, I, I'm self-taught. All right. I uh, worked my way through a few other instruments as well. Mm -hmm. I actually, I actually play bass over guitar in most right. situations. Um, but yeah, I, I moved to BSc a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and I have to say the music department in BSc was essential in getting me to where I am today. And I think it'll reflect on the kids as well when they perform in the play, because it's that caliber that's maintained all the time within any school production. And I think it's really important that, you know, we show some appreciation for the fact that our school facilitates this. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like, we're all teenagers, but we're doing cold photo <coughs> productions. And I think that takes a lot of talent and at the same time, a lot of push from the school as well.
So I have to say where I am in terms of music, where Gavin is, where all of us are in terms of our, our strengths, it's simply because of the fact that school pushes us and gives us the strength to do that. Uh, let's go with the details right now. We've been talking about the characters and uh, all the music. Uh, we'll talk about the day now. It's on the 22nd, 23rd and 24th of March. Uh, at what time will, will you be starting the play? And uh, uh, We'll be starting at 7, okay. I believe. <laughs> yes. Okay. 7. Got it, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be starting at 7 and then hopefully it's smooth sailing from then on. All right. So, uh, but how can anyone get tickets? And is it available at the school? Yeah, it's available at the front desk, mm -hmm. school front desk, and also you can check it on the school website. All right. And it's also available on uh, other places, and you can contact on the school and then find out. Oh, you got it right. Spot on. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're ready for a performance, and this is going to be a duet. Yes. Yep. Someone. So tell us. Uh, can you give us any background <coughs> to this, or will that spoil the story for us? No, give us a background so that we can do just the uh, just set the setting for yeah. us. Like, where are you, and what's happening? Uh, on a boat. <laughs> it's, All right. It's delightful. Okay. Uh, delicious and the lovely. Lovely. Let's hear it. All right. So you need to rock it. a little bit. Nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin Karnanayaka, Isha Muhammad, and of course Mikara Gunawan on guitar. Night is young and the skies are clear And if you want to go walking, dear It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely I understand the reason why you're sentimental Cause so am I It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely You can't tell at a glance What a swell night this is for romance You can hear the mother nature murmuring low Let yourself go so please be sweet, my chickadee And when I kiss you, just say to me It's delightful, it's delicious It's delectable, it's delirious It's the lemma, it's the limit It's the lux, it's the lovely Night is young, the skies are clear And if you want to go walking there It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely And I understand the reason why you're sentimental So am I, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely you can't tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance. You can hear the mother nature murmuring low. Let yourself go, so please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's dilemma, it's the limit, it's the lux, it's the lovely. And a, so <laughs> and a lot of words from D. And a lot of a lot of words from D. And you had eye contact. Now, was that part of you know the routine itself? I mean, you were maintaining <laughs> eye contact, you know, throughout. I mean, I believe that's part of the routine. Yes, part of the show. I guess there's only one way to find out. Twenty second, seven o'clock. Wow. 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 Twenty second, seven o'clock. Really Croker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> with the ladies, with the <laughs> Very smooth transition into a uh, promo. Anyway, um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Anything Goes, presented by the British School of Colombo, like uh, Gavin said, on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of this month. All right, so thank you very much. Thanks a lot for being here, Isha Mohamed, uh, Gavin Karunanayaka, and also Migara Gunawancha, and of course, Mr. Shane Michael John, the head of drama the British, of the British school, uh, Colombo. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All the very best, guys. Thank You're going to make everyone proud. Break a leg. You were just about to break my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Break a leg, you guys. I can't wait to, to see how it goes. Thanks so much for being here.